Not too many sports stories start in a large industrial warehouse in Hornby. OK, so the testing that we're going to do is we're going to... The testing started with three generations of bats. Uh, we've got a variety of ages here. The Kookaburra bubble, I think everybody who was around remembers when the bubble came out. We've got the laver and wood, quite a different profile on that. We've got the scalloped out back. And then we've got the grey nickels. You can see the real change in the bats here, where you compare the Kookaburra to the grey nickels. The edges are twice as thick as they used to be. But the new generation grey nickels is actually significantly lighter than the older bats, and more on the whiteboard later. So the first test that we've done, uh, we had stationary bats, and we wound up a ball machine, fired cricket balls at it from two and a half metres away at 100 kilometres per hour. Yes, stationary bats are all well and good, but... It's a lot more fun when the bat moves. So the Home Solutions guys built a classic Mythbusters style rig with a stationary ball and a giant bungee cord and crane powered bat swinger with a quick release cord. This moving experiment shows two things. Firstly, the relative speed of the bats. Uh, the grey nickels is moving at 146 kilometres per hour. The kookaburra was at 140. The labour and wood was also going at 140 kilometres per hour. Pretty much what you'd expect, the lighter bat going faster through the year than the heavier ones. Two, one. The second thing this experiment shows, most importantly for the big hits, is how fast the ball is coming off the bat. So, the ball speed, 160 kilometres per hour for the grey nickels. The kookaburra, well, the old technology just can't compete, 156, it's not going as far. The labour and wood though, 164, the clear winner, that is going to be one heck of a six. So the heavier, slower bat was clearly the biggest hitter, even though the newer, drier grey nickels is actually a bigger bat. And back to the studio for an argument. Yeah.